This podcast absolutely, unequivocally, positively, 100% contains adult material. Mature audiences only, please. Hey, welcome to me and Mrs. Always Right. I'm your host, me. And I'm Mrs. Always Right. And we're bringing you the ADHD of podcasting from that little trailer park in Providence Village, Texas. Yes. Baby, take it away. I still have to look over there and see where we're from. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I'm just going to read what it says uh, from Wikipedia. Providence Village is a new town in Denton County. It's a new town? It's a new town, and it was composed largely largely of a master-planned community. Huh. I know. And as of the 2010 census, it still had not been incorporated yet. So it's actually listed as a census-designated place. And the population uh, in 2020 was about 7,691 people. Is this one of those make a city to drink cities? I mean, it probably was, but I don't think that that's what it was. It was probably just someplace out in the boondocks. They started building houses and people started moving and there's a lot of people there. And they're like, well, I guess we need to make it something. 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 So that's what they're doing. So we went we went camping this weekend and riding again we real did. quick. And I just want to bring this up because it was fucking muddy. And it was dirty and it was awful. Not awful, it was fun, but it was dirty. Oh, it was very, very dirty. But after we got it caught rain. We we went up to Turner Falls and we got caught in a rainstorm. Mm-hmm. And it, this is one time the, at this the one time Shody takes off his yeah. windshield. <laughs> oh my god, that dude was soaking fucking wet. Everybody. Okay, now now we tried to prepare not really but we did have our uh rain suits with us you know pants and jackets or whatever Thanks, right amazon i know yeah i appreciate that but by the time it started raining and we started putting that stuff on our butts were already soaking wet so we didn't put the pants on but we put the jackets on but we still got soaked and we had a windshield I know, and driving back from to, from Turner <laughs> Falls to camp in the rain, I could not see shit. I couldn't either. I couldn't either. And we hit we hit one water puddle, and it just soaked the fucking entire side by side. It was crazy. It was crazy. I mean, I had a good time. Happy birthday, Shody! Oh yes, yes. Now, by the time this comes out, it'll be after his birthday. But happy birthday! Just so he knows to we're thinking you. of him. But please don't sing. <laughs> please don't sing. You don't like my singing voice? I don't like anything you do. I know. You, <laughs> hey, you know what? In about what? 15 minutes, you'll enjoy and love everything I do. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying somebody could nope. could not have nope. indulged. Nope. And you were gonna you were trying to actually <laughs> kill me this weekend. No. Yes, you were. Yes. Hypothetically speaking. Hypothetically. You okay. Because could have nobody. Me. Because nobody no. engages in stuff no. they, sh- they shouldn't do. No. But apparently we were moving stuff around in and out of the truck. And I happened <laughs> to. Oh, I was putting the side by side key in the truck. Is that correct? Is that what I was doing? I was doing something. And I wasn't there. I was doing something I, else. You were, you were there, but. Anyway, I noticed a package of candy in the door, and I was like, this motherfucker holding out. Are you trying to get me fired? And no, no. I mean, it was empty, I'm sure. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Shut up. Play along. God damn. <laughs> Hypothetically keep... speaking. Hypothetically, it looked like candy. I thought it was a bag of candy. And it was you... a bag of candy. And you... uh, Exactly. But you got lucky I didn't eat your candy. I wanted to eat all of it. I would have opened the bag and ate all of the Baby, candy. Baby, that would have been great. No, it would have been great for you. Yes. You and yes. you alone. Absolutely. I probably ha- would not be the same person I am right now. <laughs> you would up be over it already. You well, you don't know that. Yeah, you don't know me. I do. You don't know me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you would have been fucked up. That's what I know. Yeah. I know I know you would have probably went and sued some kind of spazzy I'm fucking dying routine. Probably. I mean, it but is possible. I, I, guess, I guess. You know what? You know what y'all should have done? Listen, just what? hear me out on this. Sure. Okay, so apparently at our campsite, there was a little raccoon that showed up every day. A fat raccoon oh, that turned great. on 
uh, Shodi's lights, right? His rock lights. Yes, yes. We thought it, you thought it was the rain, and I mean, we all just went with that till somebody said, "No, I've seen a raccoon in no, there." No, he saw footprints. He saw the raccoon footprints in his side by side. Or, or did somebody? Well, okay. So yes, somehow or another, we figured out. I was it there. Was the I raccoon. know exactly. I know what yeah, happened. No, you were not. No, there. Shodi no, said. I, I think. I think it was uh, the other couple. When they pulled up, they said something about seeing the, the raccoon in there. No, baby. Okay. Well, whatever. Did, did you have any of that candy? Or you... <laughs> I mean, I might have ate all of it. I don't know. No, he went over to a side-by-side, and he saw the fucking raccoon prints in there. And I'm like, oh, it had to have been the raccoon. It makes more sense that, than the that, rain that ter- or well, the hell. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it did. He said it did help, but I don't remember hearing it. Yeah, I'm, I might have heard it, but I know I, I definitely the heard the, back the, of the rain. Truck. I know. No, I was in the front of the you truck. You were when in the it was front raining. of the truck, yes. But so I definitely. So the front seat of the truck is definitely not the place to sleep. <laughs> not for you, right? No, I am way too tall. The seat does not go back far enough. But it would have been funny had y'all left uh, the little raccoon uh, some of your candy. Because then, oh my God, the video would have been hilarious. I, I'm afraid it would have been something along the lines you. of Cocaine Bear. Oh, right? yeah. Where yeah. the raccoon just starts mauling us, you know, because. Yeah. And then I could have filmed it from inside the truck because that's where I was at. That's <laughs> what you would have done is fucking filmed it from inside the truck that way while everybody we're can... dying by a fucking raccoon. You know what? That way I have proof that I didn't, I did not kill anybody. <laughs> it was this raccoon. Thanks. Thanks for coming to save me, baby. Yes. Well, I would have saved you after he left. I'm not going to come out there and we'll all die. Take one for the team. Oh, well, okay. I want to hear more stories about your mean grandma. I'm just saying. Because <laughs> mean grandma sounds like a fucking hoot. I'm uh, just saying. No, no, that was not a good time in my life, okay? <laughs> How uh, often did y'all see mean grandma? All the fucking time. Did you really? She lived by you. Is this about no, the same time lived... that you stole a car? Your mom's car? Really? <laughs> I'm just asking. Did you live by me, Grandma? You, you, then? I lived a block away, yes. <laughs> you didn't drive to me, Grandma's I love Grandma. No, I stayed away. <laughs> Fuck that. Stayed away from that block. <laughs> <laughs> that that's funny, huh? Yeah, I think it's funny. I might have told this story, but for essence of new listeners, okay, this is, it's fine. It's what? fine. What? I'm going to tell the fucking story again. Shut your mouth. What story? The still in the car. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you want to hear it. I want to hear mean grandma's stories. That's what I want to hear. I'm trying to stay but... away from her, man. I'm emotionally damaged. Now, she's passed on. Am I correct in assuming that, right? No, she's 175 and still living. No, I mean, I'm asking. Yes, to... yes, yes. Okay. She's okay. gone. He's gone. Okay. So mean, mean grandparents are gone. It was mean grandma, but grandpa was okay. He was cool. Okay. 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 Except when he had to come get me out of jail. Grandpa come got you out of jail? It's all related to the story, if you give me a minute. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I want to hear this. Uh, now, was mean grandma still alive? Yes. At this time? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, did did he tell Mean Grandma? Do you know? I mean, she was there. Oh, uh, Mean Grandma come with, with no, him to come get no, you? No, but it was a block from her house in a small town. Everybody knew what happened. Oh. He got you from jail? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm all about the story. Are you Go sure? Ahead. Yes. I might interrupt Be- because, because I have keep, so like, many talking questions. And I'm just wondering. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. So- Go ahead. <laughs> So my mom gets separated from one of my paws. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) You'll be starting chapter one, right? Okay. I'm just. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. That wasn't even funny. (laughs) I love your story. (laughs) Paul. Mom and Paul. Well, mom and Paul, right? (laughs) So she. So she's had enough of uh, Paul number three, okay? Okay. And she gets a house a block away from my mean grandma, <laughs> all right? 
okay. I, I'm assuming there was some kind of help there involved. Probably. Probably, but yes. none of my business, okay? Right. You're young, right? How old are you about this time? Um, Somewhere between 11 and 12. Okay. 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 We didn't have the nicest of cars. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm sure this was help, too. So we had a 1973 Dookie Brown Ford Maverick four-door, okay? Okay. And we lived in this house. And my mom had a lunch date. I don't know if it was with the potential new Paul or the old Paul. I don't know what the fuck it was. I just know she wasn't in the house. Okay. She was gone. It, I Yes. It was the beginning of summer. Yeah. I was bored. I went into her room. And lo and behold, right there on the dresser is the fucking car keys. Sweet. Sweet. And I'm like, I can drive, right? I can do this. I mean, at that age, you think you can do everything. Sure. sure. Yes. Yes. My little sister's there. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, let's go for a ride. Let's go do something. Let's have some fun. Let's live. Oh, okay. And I don't remember her trying to talk me out of it, which probably wouldn't have mattered anyway. But she got in the fucking car, <laughs> and I got in the fucking car, and I started it up, and it was like, hell yeah. Did you put her, her seatbelt on? I know seatbelts were not No, she was standing up in the thing. fucking seat. Okay, okay. She was little. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. I was 11, 12. She was probably eight-ish. Okay. Seven-ish, eight-ish. Right on. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Uh, apparently not, you know, to the point where... Something happens, she dies. Okay. Okay. All right. So I back the car out mm-hmm. and I start driving this car around the block. Okay. And everybody's staring at me. It's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yo, what's up? What's up? Right, peace. <laughs> She's standing up. I go around the block. I make it around once. Uh huh. Go around, make it around the block twice. Nice. Coming back to the third time, I'm like, it's probably time to put the car up, but I'm getting ballsy. Right. Uh huh. I'm. Speeding Not stopping and at the stop sign, Man, I, are you? No, I cut a right turn, <laughs> right, right at our house. Or I was in front of our house. You had to turn right on the street to get the driveway. Okay. Okay. I slammed this thing right, and this motorcycle came out of nowhere, or I didn't look. One of the two. <laughs> okay. Could could have been either either one. I mean, it could have been right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I hit this guy. Uh, and this guy gets thrown across the neighbor's yard into their house. It breaks his fucking arm. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Did he have a helmet on? Do you remember? No, nobody wore a helmet back okay. in the fucking 80s, I mean, man. I'm just, I'm just asking. Was it 80s? I mean, if you're it 10 was, or 11, it's probably, yes. It's probably it is it's, it's, it's 80s. early 80s, okay? Yes. Yeah, right. Probably around 83. Okay. Ish, maybe. Wow. And um, I drive through the yard in a panic. Mm-hmm. And get this thing in the driveway, okay? okay? Somehow got it straight. I don't know how. This dude's picking up his broken ass fucking motorcycle with his broken ass fucking arm. Oh shit! And he's like, "What the fuck?" And I'm like, "Dude, I got you, okay? I know where my mother's checkbook is. Oh, no problem. You I'll got write you. all the answers right there. All the answers. I knew where it was. I'm like, dude, I got you. I'll mm-hmm. write you a check for any amount." Okay, <laughs> any amount if you just keep your fucking mouth shut. Yeah, no, that yeah. this paper does not have to be connected to money. Didn't because, know that exactly. All right, as I, long I was, I knew as how you to have drive. those checks, you're good with the world. I knew how to drive. I didn't know how to bank. Okay, it was it <laughs> no, was a lesson no. I haven't got to in life yet. No, I get it because all kids think. You know, it, you know, I mean, we, we didn't always have money for fun stuff or whatever. And the kids are like, oh, mom, I want. And I'm like, well, we ain't got no money, but you got a checkbook. Right. Well, I ain't got right. no money to back up the check. Right. Or so, credit cards or whatever. You know, you, know, you yeah. don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. So this this dude wasn't going for any of that. He's like, no, nah, I think I'm going to have to call the cops. And I'm like, fuck. Oh, okay. Shit. So I take my ass in the house. Uh huh. Get a paper sack, throw some clothes in there, and I am gone. <laughs> gone. <laughs> Told my sister I'll never see you again. You know, you I run away. Out. At least you brought brought her back in the house. I think you... she took herself in the house because <laughs> I don't remember anything <laughs> that happened with her after that. I was definitely interested in saving my own ass. Okay. 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 Yes. She was breathing, and that's all I knew. Right. Okay. I book it, man. Well, about 10 hours later, I'm at a friend's house. People are apparently looking for me all over. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm like, she's like, well, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm just here to stay the night with. I can't, I can't even remember the dude's name. 
somewhere in that 10 hours, she found out I was a wanted man. <laughs> All right. The mom, the kid's mom. Yes. Okay. Okay. And uh, probably because your mom said, called up, because that's how us parents did it back then. You I don't even up. know if she knew where I was, but... Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, we, we know all your friends, so we're going to start calling but do all you? the mamas but and do go, you? hey, you know, have you seen my little heathen child? Oh, yeah, he's over here playing with little Johnny, telling jokes, and you're like, okay, well, little tell little Johnny his friend is in trouble. Trouble is... I, I would have taken trouble. Okay, oh, oh. I was in fucking Shit's Creek is where I oh, was. Oh, I bet. I bet. I can't remember exactly how I how I, w- I wound up. If I left there and the cops picked me up or the cops picked me up from there, I can't remember. Uh-huh. But apparently this cop picked me up and I wasn't having any of that. And I kicked that bitch right in the shin. You did not. That's the story. I I, I don't I don't really recall that. No, part, really. But that's what she says. Okay, so that's what the, that's what got back to my grandpa. Oh, so I get my. taken in. What a fucking shit you were. I you don't understand the concept of money, cops, cars, uh, life in general. To be honest with you, at twelve. <laughs> and okay, that's true. You consequences. Think you, know you don't know, right? Definitely. My grandfather though. Uh, mean grandma's husband comes and gets me out of jail. Only time that man's ever whooped my ass was that day. My mom ended up having to settle. I had to. They had to settle and pay the guy. Whatever. Right. I get in a shit ton of trouble. I, I can get imagine. grounded to my yard. For I can't life. leave for, for the life. summer. For the summer. Well, you know what? That's pretty good then. Yeah, no problem. Pre- pretty fucking good. I am bored in my yard. All right, we have a tree in our front yard. mm Hmm. I'm like, I'm going to build a little perch up here so I can just sit up here and watch what's going on all summer. Okay. <laughs> I found a board, but I didn't have nails. I had, I found rope. Okay. Uh, well, and I, and I, and I'm telling myself that I can tie this tie, this board mm-hmm. in between two branches that, that why off? Yeah. Be off. I mean, it sounds yeah, logical so far. And have a far. place to sit. Yes. So I climb up in that tree with that board and that rope. I tie that shit down. And I'm like, yeah, it's time to test. And I plant my ass and that board went right through. I fell out of that tree. Oh, no. I landed on my chest and my my uh, arm was under me to a point it bent my wrist up. Yes. I ended up fracturing my wrist. Okay. Been there, done that. I yeah. did it out of a tree, too. And I ran in and told my mom, well, she didn't care. <sighs> she, she cared, but she was busy Th- talking being pissed, them. being pissed. Yeah. I'm sure. Th- yeah. But this was a you. couple of weeks after this. You yeah. Know, some time had passed, right? Right. Well, she just thought I'd like hurt myself. I don't think she understood the extent of it. Right. You know, so I went on about my summer, you know, and about three or four, four days later, I'm at my, we're at my mean grandma's. I'm swimming. <laughs> my arm's hurting like a motherfucker. You got to go swimming while you're grounded. Your mom was really cool. I, I mean, mean, think about it. Okay. Are you going to take me with you? Or leave me at home knowing the type of trouble I am bound to get into. No, I'm taking you to Mean Grandma's. Right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm taking thank you, you to Mean Grandma's. Appreciate it, yes. right? Yes. So I figured her being able to keep an eye on me was better than coming back in the house being burnt to the ground. Yes. Okay. Okay. Got Where you. was I? All right. About this time during the summer, my other grandma comes and picks me up. Okay. And I nice go, grandma. Eh, crazy grandma. <laughs> okay, crazy grandma. Crazy grandma. Okay, crazy grandma. Comes and picks me up, and we go, and I'm telling her that my fucking arm hurts, right? Mm-hmm. It, you know, it, it hurts. So they take me to the emergency room. She takes me to the emergency room, comes out, my fucking wrist is fractured, and they put me in a full arm cast, right? From All the way wrist, up to here. From wrist to right under the fucking armpit, right? For a fractured wrist. I couldn't get lucky enough to get the little, you know, half cast. Right, here. I've had that. So now I'm in this fiberglass cast during the summer. Okay. And growing up in South Houston, you got all these uh, bayous and shit around you. Well, we knew where this old railroad track bridge was. The old, um, it lifted up and down. Oh, And we would all go jump in and swim. Okay. So we go out there and I'm like, I can't swim. I got this cast on. And my friends are like, no, it's fiberglass. You're fine. Okay. I'm like, fuck yeah. And I jump and I go swim. Well, this thing started stinking because of all the fucking um, wrapping and stuff in there. Yeah. It comes about the time to take the cast off. Where am I at? You're you're jumping in the bayou. You're getting all nasty critters in your cast. And now it comes time. About six weeks later, I'm getting this cast off. We ever had a cast? 
Yes. You ever seen I, the pizza cutter they take it off with? Yes. All right. Scared to hell. I thought I, I was, was scared the shit. so afraid yeah. they were going to cut my arm. No, it scared the shit out of me, too. I yes. was afraid of the same thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, it won't even touch you. It's he's got a some lying, kind of No, he's a lying motherfucker because it hit me. <gasps> no. Yeah. D- oh. Yeah. Wow. It, if I, I'll find the scar, it's, it's you tiny now. You have a scar? Now. From it, yeah, it's tiny now. Oh, my God. But it hit me, and he's like, yeah, whoops, shit happens, basically. You know, it's like, bitch, now I need stitches. And then after that summer is when we moved out of out of that area up to where I live now. But wow. yeah, stole that fucking car. You're uh, you're such a bad kid. I was. A I, bad I kid. had a cast a few times myself on my arms. And um, the first one I got, I fell out of a tree. I, it was right before I started kindergarten. So I was like five years old. I remember it was my right arm because I'm right handed. We were at my aunt's house, my aunt and uncle's house that used to live not far from us at all. I can't remember exactly where the house is. I kind of know, but not really. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't matter. So we're out there playing, having a good time. And I end up falling out of a tree. Same thing. Fell on my wrist. You know, oh, yeah, and uh, went in, and you know, of course, I was crying like a little bitch, and because I was five, I didn't know any better. <laughs> and uh, my parents t- ended up taking me to the hospital. I it turns out I stayed the night at the hospital, huh. and they actually had to put me to sleep. I didn't get screws or anything in my wrist, but they had to put me to sleep to reset it and everything Ooh. and get a cast. And I had to cast all the way up my Did arm. You? Yeah, for, you know, and then I started kindergarten and I couldn't write, right? Because, you know, you got this fucking cast and it go, you went all the way out yep. to the ends of my fingers. Yep. And so you can't hold a pencil or anything like that. So I ha- had to write left handed. Fortunately, mine was during the summer. I didn't have to do any schoolwork. Well, mine was right. I mean, mine, it was during the summer when it happened, but. Close enough that school was right. fixing a start that I started with a cast on my arm. But I learned for a long time I could write left-handed or right-handed. You do what you got to do, right? No, I mean, we're talking even years after that. Oh, really? I could write left or right-handed. I probably can't do it now, but I could then. Can you do other things left-handed? I can blow my nose with my left hand. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> hold a water bottle. Not yeah. what I'm talking about. I, well, I don't know what you're talking about, but... Can you hold a meat sickle? <laughs> no, no, I can't. No? No, no, I can't even do that right-handed. Are you kidding me? So you say they put you to sleep to put the cat, to reset your arm. Yes. I got put in a papoose when I had to get stitches over oh, my head. that fucking broke my heart. Heart the first time I seen a little kid in a really? papoose. It was it was one of my kids. Dude. Was it? I fucking I couldn't. I was crying just because they were crying because they were what very very bitch. upset. Why crying like that? Because I couldn't do anything for her. Oh. But then it was explained to me, you know that. She could breathe because she kept telling me she couldn't breathe. Oh, <laughs> she was like, I can't. <gasps> she was crying. It was she had a very traumatic uh, experience and she was crying and and trying to tell me she couldn't breathe because they wrapped her in this papoose for the uh, plastic surgeon and everything. Oh, this was for the finger. Yes. Yeah. And um, anyway, she's crying and, and telling me she couldn't breathe. And that it makes me sad. And I'm like, my fucking baby can't breathe. You know, she could. And they're like, if she's telling you she can, can't breathe, she's breathing. breathing. Yeah. I didn't understand it. But eventually they gave her some some not not juice, and she went to sleep, and she oh, quit I her wish crying, I and that. you know. But yeah, that little papoose thing. None of my kids had ever had anything like that till the baby, and I was just like, "Oh, holy shit!" Like to, oh my god, broke my heart. Oh, so you had to be in a papoose okay. I've been waiting too. to tell this story. I mean, <laughs> I just started. Okay. Go ahead. So it was at Crazy Grandma's one time, right? Okay. And I had a a friend that lived about four houses down. Uh Uh-huh. And there was this tricycle, but I was way too big to ride ride a tricycle. You're never too big to ride a tricycle. Well, not from the back, right? You can stand on it and push it. Yeah. Yeah. I was pushing this motherfucker down the <laughs> sidewalk, man. I was, I was running about 37 miles an hour, uh-huh. and they had a boat in the driveway, okay? And I come to, into his driveway, and I hung a hard left, 
but that threw me into that boat and I hit the I hit the edge of that boat right on my eyebrow. Okay. Oh no. And it burst. It cut it and it burst open. Man. Oh yeah. I yeah. was freaking out, man. I was <laughs> bleeding like fucking Freddy Krueger had cut me open. <laughs> I ran home and fucking crazy grandma had to take me to the to the emergency room. Mm-hmm. Well, now, I mean, how old are you about this time? Probably close to like six or seven. I was, oh, okay. I was pretty young. Okay, right? maybe eight. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't I don't date stamp my tragic my tragedies. Okay, I Why just not? I get I don't know. It's oh, not okay. the way my brain works. Okay. okay, okay. They take me to the emergency room. We're in there. They got me on the table. They're trying to give me stitches, uh-huh. but they got the fucking light right over my head. Right. So every time they move, I block the light out like this. And they're right. like, you got to stop doing that. I'm like, I'm blind. I can't fucking see. Exactly. Close well, your you eyes, dummy. You well, I, I can't. I'm the <laughs> look guy. I got to see the needle coming. I can't not look. Okay. Okay. And they're like, well, the next time we're going to strap you down. And I didn't believe them. <laughs> and it's I, funny how you don't believe I people didn't. when they tell you I they're going to do something. Shit. Okay, I threw that hand up there, and they're like, "All right, here it goes." <laughs> I was wrapped up in that. I could not move. I didn't do the crying. I can't breathe thing. But I'm trying to wiggle. It's like being in a fucking straitjacket. You're trying to wiggle out. You're like, Ooh. It's like now I know how that caterpillar feels, man. It's like fuck. <laughs> you're a caterpillar. Yeah, you just stuck in your cocoon, you know. Can't, can't fucking move. Oh, that's funny. Oh my god. And then the only other the only other major injury I really had as a kid was I crushed the tip of my uh ring finger off on my right hand. Mm-hmm. And um that was an experience. I was at the babysitters. We were at the babysitters and they had a broken stair rail. Okay. The stairs go up and the top post was missing. So it was just like a two by four on the back rail. Well, I figured that I I learned that I could sit on it. And I could pretend I was on fucking, I was a horse and the horse would rear up, you know, and that's when I do like the high ho silver thing. <laughs> so if I went to rear up on this horse and I had my hand behind me because I was throwing my, my arm up in the air, right? I'm like, I'm a cowboy. And then I reached back and I heard crunch. And I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, I didn't say what the fuck, it ain't, but you, right, or, you right. know, when I was a kid. But then I couldn't pull my right hand out from under me. And well, I'm that's because like, you're sitting on it. Well, on I didn't that board. know that. Okay. And the pain hadn't no, registered to no, your brain yet. No. Oh, wow. So I'm like, what? What? And I raised how, up. How old are you? Kid ish. First okay. grade ish. Okay. 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 I, 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 I move forward. I pull my hand out and I look. And right when I saw it, my the tip of my ring finger was dangling just by a piece of skin here. You can see the bone and all that shit in there. Oh wow! I freak the <laughs> fuck out. I bet. I'm, I ran. I'm like, I am fucking dying. Okay, <laughs> I am screaming. They're screaming. I'm freaking out. My finger's just doing its own fucking thing. Oh my god! So they call my mom, and I'm like, man, my poor mama has had to put up with so much bullshit. <laughs> yeah, she has. Okay. And so this and and this was back when you know people if you didn't have insurance they weren't taking you okay if oh, you couldn't wow. pay for it so we went to like fifteen fucking doctors okay Holy yeah and they kept shit. yeah they kept turning me away and who turns away a kid with a crushed finger yeah what this we asshole. get to this one doctor and he's like yeah we'll work something out and I'm like cool by this time man I'm I'm calmed down excuse me I'm calmed down it's really not hurting that bad it's just I got it I'm holding it you know wrapped up in a rag or something All right so he goes he goes to give me stitches and he starts to give me the lidocaine and it fucking hurt just as bad as I crushed it I was freaking the <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. out yeah yeah I was screaming and he's like man we're going to have to you know switch she told him like we're going to have to put you under okay Whatever he had put me on was had to have been the coolest shit because I remember vividly looking at him over, working at my hand, working on my hand, and me wiggling my bones. Okay. There was just like a skeleton hand there. Those are some cool fucking drugs, man. They are cool drugs. But yeah, that's, and that was probably my worst injury until the motorcycle accident where I broke my collarbone. So, wow. Yeah. Well, lucky you. Was it? Yeah. Dude. Dude. My parents saved up every year. <laughs> at, I am not lying. Saved up every year when I was a kid because for one reason or another, I was going to the hospital for something. Oh, yeah? Yes. Broken arm, 
needing stitches. I was going to the hospital. Wow. I have broke both my arms twice. No shit. This one twice and this one twice. I've had more stitches than, I mean, I can't even count. Every year I went to the hospital for something. Outside of fracturing my wrist, Mm -hmm. when I had the motorcycle wreck and broke my collarbone, Uh what was like 38, 40 around there? I mean, that's the first bone I ever broke in my life. Well, not no, from not lack of you, trying. Not if you fractured your wrist or whatever. That's a fracture, not a break. Yeah, well. Right? I mean, it just fractured it. It didn't yeah. break it. It just cracked the bone, you know? Okay. The collarbone snapped right off. Right. Well, snapped in two. Not No, not it off. didn't snap in two. Because right where it, it broke, right where it connects to your clavicle, uh-huh. your shoulder, and it broke right there. Oh. So it really wasn't in two pieces. It was just broke right there at the edge where okay. I landed on my shoulder. Right. Right. And that was, you know, I didn't feel it break during the accident. I and it They really say didn't... most of the time people that break their collarbones they they don't know it because I, I guess Oh, I where knew it's it cuz I couldn't move my fucking arm. Right. But other than that, you it doesn't hurt when you break it like it does normally. But it hurts when you're other... trying to sleep at night after it for, for oh, the next yeah. 7 days. Yeah. I now had you to slept sleep in a sitting chair. Up. Yeah. I couldn't lay down. It, that was painful. Yeah. Didn't miss a fucking day of work. I missed the, the one day of work I missed was the day I had the accident. Wow. And just like when you're talking about left-handed, I had to go to work. I learned to run a mouse left-handed, I learned to write left-handed. Yeah, I had to learn to do all that shit left handed. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yep. 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 <laughs> so, other than stitches in your finger, have you ever had stitches? No. Yeah, in my eye. In my finger. Oh, oh yeah, in your eye and okay. finger. Yes. I had to go when you worked at the doctor's office. I had to get stitches oh, right here. That's right. Because yeah. when I cut my hand open at work, and I wouldn't tell them. Yeah, and I had to go get oh, stitches. I do remember yeah. that. Yeah, I had to get one stitch and one finger over one cut, and this was at a job. And he's like, "Yeah, you got to go to the you got to go to the emergency room." I'm like, "Okay, it's it's it it was a scratch, is what it was." I can probably put a band aid on it and put. Man, that if it together, was me, I would have fucking fine. put a paper towel and a piece of tape over it and went. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't have got my hand stitched at that at work that time if it wasn't so fucking deep. Mm-hmm. But he had to stitch the inside of it. That's how deep that was. And I'm like, yeah, that one's probably going to need stitches. Yeah. But yeah, that's the that's my medical history in a nutshell. Nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. All yeah, right. It is. I, I enjoyed that. And I I know you got more stories about I me, do, Grandma. but it's time to go. Okay. okay. And I got to go clean this wreck of a fucking show up. Uh, you always say that. Well, there's a lot of space in okay. the beginning. I got I got to fix. Okay. Because we don't have a plan. We never have a plan. I know, that's and that's thing. why this show sucks. I don't think this show sucks. Oh. I think this show is funny. Oh. And you make it wonderful. You Man. make it sound like we never pause or anything. You're a great, great editor. Thank you. You're welcome. You should try it sometime. No, I don't think so. Hey, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please email us at me and Mrs. Always right at gmail.com. All complaints go to Trevor the Intern. Yes. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. You did good not counting on your fingers that time. I was, but you oh, were you see under these? No, I really wasn't. Help support this podcast by becoming a Patreon member at Patreon slash Me and Mrs. Always Right, where you get pre and post show content right along with unedited episodes. Awesome! Look All at right. you. All right. Well, I love you. I love you too, honey. All right. You have a good day. You too. Is right. it bedtime yet? No, I gotta Damn. work. Ugh. Okay. All right. I love you. I love you too. All right. Bye. 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 Merle. <laughs>